Hello and welcome back. Here to continue our playthrough of Mass Effect 1. Uh, right now I'm back aboard the Normandy. Just got through the lockdown with the help of Captain Anderson and now I am heading Message coming to Ilos. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. I don't agree with everything you said, but at least you got her on your side. I just hope it doesn't damage relations with the Council. I'm not important enough for them to get hysterical over. Well, that would have been true a few weeks ago, but now you're above most humans in their regard. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. How angry was the Council? About what you'd expect. Don't worry too much about it, Commander. They're always angry with us. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Okay. So it seems like... I think that's Lance Henriksen's voice. <laughs> giving us some... Uh, status updates based on our responses to the media report. So now I need to head to Ilos. This is the Citadel space. I think I need to zoom out. Yep. Pluto Citadel, the Milky Way, Serpent Nebula, Alpha Cluster, Asteroid, Area, okay, Ilos is up here. Refuge, Refuge, Ilos, sure. Here we go. Ooh. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kaoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Wow, for an admiral to get so spooked is rough. Cerberus, so a black ops organization. So there's Ilos, Self, Ag, Toten, and Zaf. See if these have anything of note. Oh, iron gas helium giant. Pressure cooker atmosphere, carbon dioxide and ethane. Ooh, 84 atmospheres and 510 Celsius, so way too hot. The golden age of Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed the color of rust. Uh, the atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. It indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Oh. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. It's like a bit of a shorter year. Uh, day length is, well, 54.5 Earth hours. Okay, so it takes a little over two days to complete one revolution on this one. Atmospheric pressure, 11 atmospheres. That's actually quite a bit, but the surface temperature is 
it's it's hot, but it's not not unlike what you'd see in certain places on Earth. So, okay, let's land. Now I think that Saren is either here or we've intercepted him and gotten here before him. Oh, looks like Death are here. Uh, Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? The stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right, we're going in... Going in hard. Uh, let's see, who do we want for this stuff? I think I want Rex, because he's just strong in general. Uh... Last time, so I have an assault rifle person in Rex. Caden, Liara. I do want an electronics person, so probably bring Tally along. Yeah, let's bring Tally along. Last time was a bunch of getting getting lost. Not not a whole lot of combat anyway, so. Let's bring them along. Sir. You two, keep moving inside now. Well, hello. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. All right, so uh, here we are. Okay, so presumably this is the door we need to open. Oh, it's already... Do I have a disruption? I, I really like this sniper rifle. It has a lot of heat management, so it doesn't. So I can shoot it pretty quickly.
doesn't seem to be working against that one. Okay. See, that's, that's what I like about a sniper rifle. Able to shoot. Just take brief pauses and then just keep on shooting. Lesson learned. Uh, don't suppose I can take the ship or the, the car through. Experience that I got from the previous one. Uh. So, like the ancient human city of Troy, Pylos is a world known only through second-hand sources. Okay, so some information about Ilos. Pistols. Let's just finish that off. Marksman. Could have gotten intimidate, I suppose, but it's okay. Barrier, let's work on Can't finish it, so I'll do that and then I'll just get Krogan Battlemaster. And for Tali I'm going to get one in shotguns and one in electronics. We'll ride the security, okay. Oh boy. That's what I got hit with last time. back up. Take out those hostiles. Oh, okay. There's one over yonder. Can't see it from here. Let's just do this first. Okay. 261 items. So I have a Kovil Kovalayov 7 and a Predator L7 for human. Okay, let's see if that's. Polonium 7, Kinetic Buffer 7, take off, okay. So what do you have for armor? First aid interface. Should be a medical interface, okay. Now, let's see if you can wear any things better. Uh, 
I think Rex is the one that's just like have absolutely no worries about him getting hurt. It's just so durable. Uh, Predator 7. Predator L7. What? So this Predator... Is it Predator L7? It's got more shields, 90 more shields, and more biotic protection at cost of less physical damage protection. Actually, this is looking pretty good. It's uh, a lot of shields. Let's see if this uh, works any better. So I don't know if tech and biotic includes those big energy bursts that those things were shooting, but I'll give it a try. No. Let's see what Rex has got. Breaker 7. Ooh, that's a good assault rifle. Trade that out. Yeah, otherwise, I think Breaker is the best one. Tungsten 7. Okay. I think we're okay with how we have things so far. that one doesn't look like there are any more but there might be a some extra goods at the end of this path perhaps oh wait this goes to a different area Unfortunately, this sniper rifle hits pretty hard. Okay. All right. Firestorm 9, Thunder 8, Reaper 8. Combat Optics 8. Ah, combat optics gives both detection and accuracy. Nice. Weapon stability, damage and heat absorption. So instead of this rail extension 7, I think I'll put combat optics on my assault rifle, and on my sniper rifle, I'll put. The, another rail extension so I could just get as much damage on a single hit as I can. Wait. Okay. 
think I am fairly well equipped. Uh, I guess I went. All right. I do like the one shot power I have now. Uh, I'm just going back the way I came to make sure that uh, I didn't miss anything because I think that there was something that I was supposed to do here, like the security override. Um, elevator. Okay, so I don't have that open yet. Huh. So actually, that way I went the first time looked to be possibly the right way. Okay. At least, uh, and by right way I mean it was a shorter path where we could collect some goods before we carried on. Let's clear out this big room, make sure there aren't any valuables in the corners. Got that one already. Are these actually any usable things? No. Okay. Yeah, this is a shorter trench path, so. Ah. Armature control. I'm gonna save here. Make sure I don't. Oof. Uh. Oh, that was just a bit of XP. That wasn't. There's someone up ahead. Oh, okay, so this is just, I guess this just, uh, this trench just loops back around and up to the main area again, which is fine. So I'm wondering if these are Protheans. The they look to have some sort of humanoid shape, but they have like obviously the sort of tentacle face look. Okay, so going here we are carrying along the main path again. jog up. Oh, there was an auto save. I'm gonna save myself as well. Don't have any enemies on detection yet. Yeah, these guys really do have a... I want to say I've seen things like this before. These, this design with the tentacles on the face. They do seem a bit like those engineers from the alien movies, but course with tentacle faces. There was a little side side room here. Can I climb this? Uh, I don't think so.
So nothing here. Huh. I would probably expect that on harder difficulties there would be more of these people. More enemies in this area, I mean. Get into cover. a bit of trouble seeing what was actually shooting at us. Well, good thing they took care of it themselves. Reaper 8, Heavy Armor Human, Survivor 8, Heavy Armor Krogan, Mantis 8. Let's see if any of that. Pulse Rifle 8. Ooh, that's a powerful one. Okay, so I've got a pretty powerful one that I'm not necessarily using all the time, so I'm going to give this Pulse Rifle to Rex. Oh, this has this is powerful, but it doesn't have any slots. So actually, if I went back to Breaker, probably it would be even better this way. If I give him like tungsten rounds, gave him a rail extension. And the combat scanner. Heavy armor Krogan, heavy armor human. Of course, I'm a Vanguard class, so I can't use heavy armor. Considering the way I play, I think that soldier probably would have been more suited to how I usually play, which is more weapon focused. Uh, this Mantis armor. Oh, Mantis 7, Mantis 8. So it's just better. Okay. Nice. Take that. Gladly. Doesn't look like I go up there directly. Now let's see if this elevator works. Green button should be fine. Should be one level. Tornado 8, Naganada 8, Chameleon Tool 8. Okay, so she's using the basic blue wire tool. Cipher tool gives that. 
No shield bonus, but much more tech cooldown bonus. So I'll just give that to her. Well equipped, I think. Yeah, she's still well equipped. Katana. Katana 7. Give her the firestorm. Okay. There's something in the air here. Death is on the wind. It's a good place for killing. Okay. Can't just jump down. So elevator back down. There's some radar jamming. Oh boy. Is that it? Oh, well they got it themselves, that's good. Taking an elevator down. Now where is this going to drop us? This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Seren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Saving. Oh, and it auto-saved for us as well. This looks like somewhere a cutscene might ensue. to move up a little. I think that's most of them. I'll just get a... Okay. Armature hacked. Medical exos... Medical exoskeleton. Ooh. Um... Shredder 7, Kinetic Exoskeleton 8, Kinetic Coil 8. What does that mean? So I've got two medical interfaces on mine currently. Shield recovery, shields, and mobile accuracy. It's nice. Reduction in power cooldown. Nice. So I'm going to use this. Medical 8. And I think it's time for me to actually use one of these. Uh, 
Maybe a blade of coating, actually. You know what? I, I might need the kinetic exoskeleton thing. So I'll, okay, never mind. I'll just keep the damage protection for now. Give Rex the kinetic exoskeleton. Ooh, this one's nice. Kinetic coil. Damage and stability. So this one's right now. I've got two rail extensions. Place that. You a rail extension seven. And Tally with her pistol. Polonium rounds. Comet scanner four. Let's give her a rail extension. So she can do a little more damage. Kinetic stabilizers fine. Although probably want. Okay, so just keep it that way. Okay, moving on. Saving. Computer console. Oh, armature hacked. Wait, is this a helper? I suppose that's a helper. If I if I'd used that earlier. These would have been helpful earlier, I suppose. <laughs> Might as well hack them for experience, though. Ooh. All right, saving again.
Yeah, on harder difficulties, this probably has more enemies, I would assume. Come on. Seren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible! The Cypher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind! Not safe. Seek refuge... ...inside the Archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped! Okay, I'm just gonna save again. Uh, right now, enter the archives. Okay, so that message did tell me to enter the archives, which I assume is further up ahead. There's a platform here, but it just doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> I also have to go down and underneath. Yeah, okay. Pull out the weapon. Oh, it's already open. Another elevator. This time it's taking us up. I will say that one thing about the combat I'm having difficulty with is the sensitivity of how it sticks in and out of cover. As well as not being too clear what some of the abilities do, like warp and throw. Targeting is a little strange. Okay, so I guess with that done, that elevator brought us back up to the beginning, which I assume means that the head back to here now. We take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker. Good idea. Firepower will come in handy. All right. Save. And it auto saved as well. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap around Bush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. <gasps> or we just haven't run into it yet. That was the trap. Just absolutely getting flipped over by tree roots. Okay, so right now it's just straight away. It's harder to keep it st steady with keyboard, I suppose. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of container? They look like stasis pods. The protein. 
Oh, probably went too fast and it skipped some of the conversation. Oh wow. Oh, they're shooting from really far away. Doing a little bob and weave. I imagine there's some sort of achievement for going through this hallway without the car, but don't need to look at that just yet. And that would be a bit of a challenge, I suppose, on harder What's difficulties. Happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. Oh. Oh, okay, so we're walled off now on both ends. Yep, let's just, uh... Okay, coming out of the car. Those do look like pods. They might be... Might be proteins inside them, maybe? Anyway, continuing on in here. Press the button. Takes us through another elevator. Wow, there's a, a lot if of space here. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. Oh. Visual. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the ILOS research facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated, and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, 
They are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and threw it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Oh, is that the, the statue? A weapon. It's a back door onto the Citadel. Okay, lot. There's a lot of exposition from this, from Vigil. Uh, those keepers, those assholes. Okay, uh, the keepers serve the reapers. Kind of coincidence that they rhyme, but uh, yeah. Once I get back, I'm I guess I'm killing all those keepers. Uh, also, that statue, that inactive mass relay statue in the middle of the emporium i think that's actually that's either conduit linking to that or that's part of the mass relay how did you manage to stay hidden all official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the citadel while the prothean empire came crashing down ilos was spared we severed all communication with the outside and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility 
and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the Conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down, somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I'd never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. If the Reapers are patient, we can kill they will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle. 
working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. A lot of, a lot of information being put out right now. So it seems that the conduit, which goes, gives a back door to the Citadel. I'm, I'm still convinced it's the in, inert statue monument of a mass relay that's in the middle of the Emporium. But it seems that the Protheans, the, the ones that were left over, uh, block the signal to the Keepers. That's good. Um, so I guess we have to stop Sovereign now from manually overriding it. What about the beacon on Eden Prime and the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacon spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reavers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Oof. So... You know, by controlling Saren, he had an organic component to decode that message. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations, perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Oh, okay, so as much as I was going to squish those Keepers, they're, they've been unlocked and so they don't actually work for the Reapers anymore. They're just kind of, in, not necessarily inert, but I guess benign. So they just go around maintaining the Citadel as normal? Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Makes sense. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. All right. Two renegade points. Ton of information. 
That was actually a very interesting turn of events. So it's really a cycle of they come, they kill, they retreat back into the darkness and just kind of cultivate organic life until it's time, until it's ready for for what it wasn't clear. Did mention that it's tragic. For all their great achievements, the Protheans lost everything, just like my people. Even their last plan failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. Okay, so I, th I think that bringing Tally along was the right choice from a lore perspective. Okay, so now that we've gotten that information, we continue on. I'm gonna save it. But yeah, I was mentioning that do a little bit of bob and weave. Do I drop, just drop down? I did save earlier, so I'm just going to drop down. Okay. Hilo's trench run. Uh, okay. Still convinced that the the portal is that inert monument. Care of the Geth. That's right, get out of here. Okay. So we have to get to the conduit, presumably either before or after Saren. Um, I was talking about the the Reapers and I still don't know why they they do that they have this like cycle kind of reminds me of the Matrix where they kind of kept going through multiple iterations so that civilizations could survive before they're eventually killed but uh, in because it should spoil too much in case people haven't seen that movie, but... <laughs> uh, like I said, maybe... Vigil said that maybe it's just something that we organic beings cannot understand, so... It's possible. And that's just to think that, like, different cultures, different species might have just motivations that seem completely foreign to us because they're not something that we can necessarily relate to. I 
think that's the basis for a lot of discovering new civilizations or cultures is a is trying to rationalize their their beliefs with our own okay, so I've reached the end of this path taking another there, the conduit it's incredible we don't have time to admire the view we have to get through that relay and these geth aren't going to make it easy on us oh Sovereign and a bunch of geth arrived. Okay, so they arrived here. Not that monument as I expected, so I was wrong about that. Sorry. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control! Do you copy? Uh-oh. Saren and some Geth are already aboard. All conduit closing in 40 seconds. Gotta go. Now we do have only 20 seconds. Based on the health of these guys, I might have to just make a run for it. Yeah. Oh, got a, got a medal. Please begin emergency evacuation. <gasps> it is the monument! So I was... I thought I was wrong because Sovereign came through on its own. But... Okay, so they didn't go... Sovereign didn't go through the conduit. Saren went through the conduit. So here it is. Alright. Here we go. All right, there's a metagel. Okay, so I'm here with Tally and Rex, so I think that this is a good place to save the Citadel. Okay, so save the Citadel, we're gonna do that next time. Hopefully get to Sovereign before he can uh, override the controls for Sovereign or Saren, Saren, Sovereign, sound kind of the same, so, anyway, time to save it, anyway, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool, so we got here, and next time, oof, I just see those spikes impaling a few people, but yeah, next time we'll get around to saving the Citadel, yeah okay so next time we'll do that and in the meantime thanks for watching and have a good one